Hey, Shalom, Makim. Shalom, Shalom. Your brother Kanan back at you with the truth. Start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashin, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will well and teach one well leader Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai who will well lead all Jesus Christ and salvation. Shalom, Makim. Guardi Abba Shem Yashav put the spirit upon me to come out here another camp week. All right, to preach to the to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to the sheep of Yahushai. All right, we are the uh, twelve tribe. We are the biblical. We are the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right, this is the twelve tribes of Israel chart. All right, if you see your tribe on this chart, consider yourself blessed. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. All right, the head tribe of the southern southern kingdom is Judah, which are the so-called Negroes. All right, and it consists of three tribes: Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All right, they were labeled collectively during the Roman Empire. All right, and the the head of the northern kingdom is Ephraim. All right, which is the so-called Puerto Ricans, and it consists of nine tribes. All right. They was named they was named collectively, all right, during the Roman Empire and the Syrian captivity, all right. If you see a tribe upon this chart, consider yourself blessed. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible, the name of the Heavenly Father, all right, whom the world only called God, Jehovah, Jah, Yahweh, the name is Yahweh, all right, which is spelled Y A W, excuse me, Y A H A W A H, Yahweh. Which means he exists, he's to be. Alright, his spirit is everywhere. Alright. He's the he's the king of the whole universe. Bahashim, alright, which is coming in the name of, which is spelled B-A-H-A S-H-A-M. Bahashim is coming in the name of the Hebrew. Alright, is in the is in the Hebrew uh, 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 characters. Alright. In the Hebrew word is Bahashim coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the savior whom we only call Jesus. All right, his name is spelled Y A Y A H A. Okay, W A S H I. All right, Yahweh Shai. His name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. All right, because the, the 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 people that what the people preach and go and um, believe upon who call holy call upon Jesus is a false god who was put to who was basically put to death. All right, and is going ain't going in captivity. Right, so the Lord and the Savior name is Yahweh Shai, who and the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son are so-called Negroes. Okay, they 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 have woolly hair and they have dark uh dark skin. They are dark skin. All right, Bahashim, which is coming in the name of Raka Kadash, which is the Holy Spirit. Right, Raka Kadash is spelled R A W C H A A. All right, which is spirit. All right, that's in the Hebrew word Raka. Kodash is the holy, all right, which means separate, sacred, in which the heavenly Father through the Son separated us, all right, from all the other nations, like the so-called white people, the so-called Chinese, the so-called um, Arabians, so-called uh, Indians, all right, so-called Africans, all right, our people, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are holy to the Lord thy power, all right, Kodash is spelled Q-A-D-A-S-H, which is holy, all right, because the Heavenly Father is holy, so His children is holy. Although our people have a Gentile state of mind, which means they think like the other nations, all right? But reality check is that they are the sons and daughters of the living power, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, whom we call Jesus Christ, name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which means He saves the anointed. He's the only, only begotten Son, all right? The only begotten Spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? And he's come to conquer the nations, all right, and put them in captivity, all right. First, he's going to uh, fight in World War Three, all right, which is on the horizon, all right. This Third World's War is going to be a nuclear war, all right, and all the nations are going to be fighting each other, and then they're going to see Yahweh Shai, all right, come in the, in the glory of the Father, and um, they're going to fight him, okay, Cause the, and they're going to be afraid, but the, they're going to thirst fight, all right. We are to preach prophecy 
all right what's to come and basically we are in the time of prophecy we're living our biblical days man all right bible days was every was every day but now it's more than ever because the end is manifest okay you, you got the so you got these devils all right which is the so-called white race begin with the elites the rockchild rockefellers Abrahamers, the duponts the gettybergs they're watching us all right they're watching the hebrew israelites they ain't watching uh these challenges or the, these foolishness they they ain't going to show themselves on the media all right they they be, they're, they're kingpins they they're they're the ones who call the shots they, all right they have they have control over the earth all right so whatever madness they put out uh, uh, of telling every all these medical fields to go make sure everybody's vaccinated and um and next step is uh getting these uh these microchips rolled out man that's the next step that's the end game the new world order all right they're going to try to have everybody chipped okay here you have elon musk talking about uh, uh brain implants all right so these people are are trying to make you people are guinea pigs all right this is one big old the world is one big la um, laboratory and you people are the experiment all right so just like how uh uh you have a frog you dissect it all right and you, you take out things that you don't you, you try to take uh dissect the parts try to fix it and you want to put in, uh new parts that's what these devils are doing to humans trying to take out old parts and try to put in new parts that's what they did with the maxine waters and you people took the poison and y'all might transform into a zombie or a, or a mutated monster if you took that Mac, Maxine, man, with that graphite, or what do you call it, the graphite in your, in your, in your uh, living in your body, that thing may transform, all right, your human flesh. All right, so we're going here to preach prophecy. And Lord willing, let us in this edifying. And I'm going to do the best of my ability to edify, man. All right, they, they got my channel down. They got my channel down. All right, so they try to implement this karagma. All right, my channel been down for a week, but I've been uh, uploading on BitChute. Okay, and you can subscribe to my page. It's Kanan C H A N A N one four four. Okay, that's my BitChute channel. All right, whatever uh, YouTube uh, strike me out, I'm gonna be uploading up on that page. All right, but they they uh, they uh. They strike both of my channels because the word, all right, is cutting these devils to the heart, which is the mind, and uh, they losing their kingdom. They losing the grips of their kingdom, so they doing whatever it takes to stop this word. In which this word has already gone off throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and because and a, hey man, it's going to be an all-out warfare in the heavens and on earth. Civil wars on the horizon. All right. You know, you, you got these Edomites, all right? They're pissed off, all right? Because they're being exposed for the people who they truly are, all right? Um, so, we're going to start with... Um, let's start with Second Edris. Chapter 15. All right, we are to preach to the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, but right now, all right, it's all about the elect, and the elect is, Lord willing, it's almost sealed, man. And when the elect is sealed, the Heavenly Father through His Son is going to open up a pool of judgment. You're going to start to see spirits, all right, apparitions on the streets. You're going to see angels on the streets. You're going to see a lot of killings. All right, you got that recent news in Harlem with two uh, two cops got put to death. All right, so your slave patrols are being put to death. All right, the, the Heavenly Father through His Son is visiting and judging this earth. Okay. Um, let's start with Second Edges 15, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word to prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. All right, and we can look up the uh, word prophecy. All right, who's the Lord's people? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Speak to our people in the words of prophecy. All right, whether they hear or forbid, because the majority of you jakes are not going to hear, because you uh, hard-headed niggas, ninjas, excuse me, you hard-headed ninjas, 
who think that uh this lifestyle is going to continue you're going to be a you're going to have a, a rap career you're going to have an nba contract you're going to have an nfl contract all right you're going to be the next diva uh, the next twerkinator up on stage making yourself look like a clown all right and you're going to keep on wearing uh, 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 uh abominable uh you're going to keep on wearing uh, wearing an abominable image up on yourself eating abominable foods this is not going to continue because the heavenly father through his son is pissed all right and the lord is getting ready to uh overthrow this man's kingdom and, and establish his kingdom it's going to be the kingdom of our lord yahweh and the elect okay Let's look at prophecy. Prophecy is the function of a prophet, okay? And it says, and directly uh, Latin for Fashia, is the gift of interpreting the will of the powers, the will of gods. It says, it says, let's see, prophet meaning thing, spoken or written by a prophet, Prophecy, knowledge of the future, all right? Usually said to be obtained from a divine source. And that divine source is the heavenly father through the son. We was given on, we was given the mysteries to know, all right? No prophecy, the mysteries of the kingdom to preach the, uh, the, good, the gospel, the good news to our, our people that we have a kingdom coming, the Israelites, and the heavenly father through the son is only for the nation of Israel. Which is the people before it's a place. Okay. All right. Prophecy, a prediction uttered under divine inspiration. All right. And that divine inspiration was given from uh, the Heavenly Father through the Son, um, bestowed upon the prophets to understand what these scriptures, all right, was uh, of our, our for, what our forefathers went through. All right. And, um, to understand what the future what it beholds and we, and america do not have a bright future all right this is the last empire on the heavenly father's hit list all right the heavenly father through his son had taken down many empires all right the greco-roman empire all right the uh the um he took down uh Sodom and gomorrah egypt you know just going back all right just going back from uh the last to uh the beginning all right, he taking down great empires and kingdoms. Okay, he flooded. This is the power that flooded the earth by water, and now he say he ain't gonna uh, flood the earth by water. He, now he's gonna do it by fire. All right, he's gonna overthrow this empire by way of fire, like like our uh, Sodom and uh, Gomorrah. Okay, so behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And just like how he put the words in Jeremiah's mouth to go speak, and Jeremiah's uh, complained to the Heavenly Father to his son that he's only a child, but the, the Heavenly Father said, "What? Uh, say not, I'm a say not, you're a child." All right. So once you get this truth, this knowledge, you become a man by default. All right. And then when you get the hundred percent truth, all right, the the inward man is renewed. All right. So what you learn. Of the outward man, it perishes. Once you learn the hundred percent biblical truth, all right, beginning our head apostles, all right, of, of, of GMS, all right, beginning with Apostle Tahar, going on down, all right, to brothers that are affiliated, all right, with the hundred percent truth, okay, the hundred percent doctrine. But the Heavenly Father don't want a uh, ninety-four percent of the truth. He want all or nothing, all right. Um, and it says, um, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right, and the heavenly father through his son never lies, unlike how man lies. Okay, because if this if this word be of men, all right, it would have perished. All right, it would have stopped, in in, in, a, uh, in a heartbeat. Okay, in and out. Right. Right. it would have stopped in a heartbeat. Okay, so. But this truth is going to continue because it's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashad that Rakakadash is giving that engine, that fuel for us to continue in this truth. All right, we, we're fighting, all right, to get up on what? Get up on the ships to obtain what? Salvation. 
We're fighting to get our kingdom, our, our sovereignty. We begin with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? His kingdom, we, we, we are fighting for his kingdom to be established upon the earth, all right? And we are fighting to be joint heirs with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? And it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let's look at the word imagination. Imagination. Let's look up imagination and etymo. Uh, faculty of the mind which forms and manipulates images. And we have the images of the Heavenly Father through the Son. But you people have the images of, of us being put to death. Of, 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 of this word being stopped. Okay. All right. It says concept, mental picture, hallucination, imagination, a fancy noun of action from past particle stem of Im Im imaginary. All right. It says to form an image of, to form an image of, all right, an, a image, a likeness. All right. And how we think about the heavenly father through his son as our, 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 um, our, our guide, our head. Okay, so we have this image on how the heavenly father looks. Okay? He's our he's our uh a Judite father over the nation of Israel. Okay. Through his son, our big brother Yahweh we have the we have the image on how they look. Alright? Could the Lord open up our understanding to know how they look? Okay. Only for the prophets. No one else. And it says, um, and believers. And it says from stem of image imitary. To copy, imitate a form of a mental, all right, a form of a mental image of something that is not perceived as real and is not presented to the senses. And a lot of people do not believe in the heavenly father and son because they don't, they don't have that proper imagination, right? They don't think what we believe is real. Now they don't believe the chariots of, of, um, of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is real, all right? They think that's uh, uh, demons that are operating the the UFOs. They call them UFOs, which is, which is, which we already identified them, but they are ancient, uh, ancient vehicles that have been watching over the nation of Israel right, through the heavenly, through uh, the heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it says the formation of a mental image of something that is not perceived as real and is not presented to the senses. So the meaning the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai having opened up a um, uh, majority of Israel senses to this truth, He has locked away, all right, this information from them. Why? Because uh, they have given unto idols and they have uh, worship other gods, all right, and in which those other gods have polluted their minds and uh, dissected their mindset into uh, different avenues of the world. Okay. So meaning their brain is spread it like um how you call it? It's spread it's spread it like how you play a hide and seek. Alright? All the all the all the toys is out of the box. It's all over the place. And you gotta pick up those toys and put it back in a box. And that's what the Lord had done to the elect. Alright, and the believers, the one third. Alright? He put back all the toys of our mind in the, back in one box. Meaning it's time to believe once again upon him. Okay. So let's get back to it And it says Fear not the imaginations against thee Let not the incredulity Of them trouble thee Of them trouble thee It says trouble thee That speak against thee Alright so we are not afraid of what you people believe Alright we are not afraid Of what you people believe That, that uh, what uh, the, the prophecies Is not going to happen all right, these prophecies is gonna happen, whether you believe it or not. All right, let's look up uh, incredulity. Incredulity, and it says uh, the state of being unwilling or unable to believe something. <laughs> incredulity, and that's that's the mindset of the majority of Israel. They don't believe. All right, they they believe in carnal things. All right, they believe in drugs, money. Cars, hoes, all right, business, businesses for those uh, 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 Israelites that have um, went above and beyond with their master degree. Basically, you're still a slave, 
right? You still you still a, a number under the society. Okay, you got an ID, you're a number, a slave number. You got a social security, a slave number. Alright? You got all these documents, and you're trying to say that you have a sovereignty in America, you have been bamboozled, you've been lied to. Okay, and the word bamboozled means a, a swindle. Alright? You've been hoodwinked. Yeah, how about Shema Shah have you uh uh through Esau have got you Israelites messed up in the mind? Okay. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Alright? So don't be surprised if family members, all right, or people that are close to you get put to death because they were uh uh and you told them about the truth. Alright? They they were unfaithful, they did not believe. And a lot of a lot of uh, scoffers all right, Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to a, a, a visit. All right, because all the unfaithful shall what die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, so verse five, and this, you see all this turmoil going on the earth. You got a volcano eruption in, in the water. Right? Uh, 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 World War Three is getting uh, spooled, um, sparked up. All right, because Russia is going into Ukraine. All right, Ukraine is is uh, 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 is in fear. Right, U.S. wants um, the U.S. wants part in, in, in this war too. All right, China's getting uh, China is trying to uh, get um, uh, their arm arms ready. Iran's trying to get their revenge. Everything, everything is sparking up. The 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 heat is being kindled, and this is all the power, the spirit of power behind by Shemuel Shai, the Heavenly Father through His Son. Cause why? He wants His kingdom to be established. So how he's gonna do this? You gotta have a bad time before you have a good time. You have to fight for your. You have to fight for your good time. How you fight for that? You are gonna have to destroy the problem. And that's right. That's the who's the problem? The so-called white man. He is the problem of the earth. All right. He destroyed the waters. He destroyed the uh, air. He destroyed uh, earth resources. He destroyed the animals. Everything of earth is out of course. Which is why the prophets are out here a uh, week in and week out. Constantly crying unto the heavenly Father through His Son, all right, to uh, take this man out of power. All right, the more, the longer, the longer he stays in power, the more things die. Okay, the more life becomes polluted, corrupted. All right, the more our people be, be more uh, uh, destroyed, man. All right, so we are fighting for sovereignty from the heavenly Father through His Son, and when righteousness be uh, uh, when righteousness gets established. Just know that we're gonna have true peace, all right? Are right? you? Because you're looking at your next judges of the earth, all right? The Negro, Latino, Native American men doesn't realize that they have a kingdom coming. All right, this is not gonna be forever, man. America is gonna get destroyed by nuclear fire and by the holy angels of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. All right, the Lord is gonna come take out the so-called white man, and put them in slavery, and all these nations. Slavery is in the Bible. Or whether people believe it or not, our, our women are going to be in proper order in the kingdom of heaven that's to come. Because our women today are skanks, all right? They're wicked, all right? And they're proud, they're haughty, all right? And they think they're better than men. They think they could uh, be able to save um, save themselves out of what's to come. The army troops, all right? Uh, invading, invading American soils, all right? And uh, uh, lawlessness. You cannot stop. Uh, what what the heavenly Father through His Son have co coming to uh, America soils and other places like America, it's going to happen whether people believe it or not. And it says, uh, "Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world," which is why you see a lot of people dropping dead from this uh, um, uh, uh, that thing, okay, that thing Marion. All right, you know you have a lot of people dropping from this. Uh, uh, um, this disease, and which means that the word disease, we can look it up. Disease. Which also goes into infirmity. Disease meaning, it says a disorder of structure or function in a human, meaning your, your organs is not right. Animal or plants, especially one that produces specific signs or symptoms of that affects a specific location, is not simply direct insult of physical injury, illness, sickness. 
all right which is why a lot of people got caught by the uh with the, the omarion all right movement okay a lot of people got sick from that some people some people died from it i had a, a co-worker that died from that um that omarion movement all right it's just the fact that this devil have a uh, chemtrail in the, the the skies morning and night man all right which is why everything is so polluted you know you got animal life is dying off uh, tree life is dying off that's why we need the savior to come back and deliver all right the elect of the nation of israel man all right if the longer we live here the more we die man and that's what it is everything's polluted everything is out of order the earth is out of course okay all right you got you got uh you got uh, these devils in the laboratory fusing uh um uh, what you call it uh fusing animal dna's and stuff you know you, you put it you put a, a tiger with a, a lion and you put it with a, a pig with a um what you call it a wildebeest and they just uh fusing they just doing a lot of madness in the uh in the laboratories man all right and they got these uh the, the, man, they got a lot of disgusting stuff in the, uh, in the laboratories that they want to release to the public. All right, they got a. Remember, they had a situation where they uh, enhanced the mosquitoes, genetically modified mosquitoes. They got that. They're gonna they're gonna release these things, and it's gonna be all out of hell on the earth because these are the weapons. This this is the armory of the Lord, man. All right, all right. And when the Lord mean open up the armory, he's meaning have these devils prepare the, his, the swords that he has in the laboratories, the swords that he has in the lairs, okay? So this is the rod of the Lord's anger, man. These so-called white people. He's the sword of the earth, okay? So a disease is illness, sickness, all right? A disease, a disease or a period of sickness affecting the body or mind. And all, a lot of people, a lot of our people, Negro Latinos and Americans, have a disease in the mind, all right? Their mind is not at ease. Why? Because they don't have this truth, all right? They have legions of spirits upon them, okay? So the Lord have these curses polluting the peop our people, all right? The elect, all right, has been cured from those curses in the mind, but we are still not off the curses. The scripture said in, the, in uh, our righteousness will be as filthy rags. What is a filthy rag? Yeah. All right? Yeah, after after you wipe down the place, right, it becomes dirty, and you put it back in the bucket. It's still dirty, all right. So the Lord said, our our, our righteousness will be as filthy rags. I mean, we will come back to righteousness, but our bodies will be sin, all right. Because it's what, what the, uh, David said, out of my mother, I um was conceived sin, meaning these bodies, these flesh, which is why the heavenly Father cannot even look at us, man. All right, the heavenly Father through His Son. The sun have to look at us, all right? The Heavenly Father cannot deal with um, an unclean thing. If this if this world was judged by the, the Old Testament, nobody will live, period. Nobody will live. All of, this, this place will be as Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? Um, let me see. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, O, hear, o heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yashah, have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. They have rebelled against me. All right? Meaning, they, rebe they rebelled against the prophets of the Heavenly Father through His Son. All right? Our people. All right, they hear the truth, they hear righteousness, they fan it off instantly. But if it was like smooth things, all right, how to how to make money, how to rob a man to get a, a to to um to have a come up, they want to hear it. But when it comes to righteousness, you know, you got to get right with the Lord. You got to repent. You got to uh, ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins. You got to stop being a nigger. All right, they fan that off. They want to constantly uh, do wickedness. 
okay? The ox know of his owner, and the ass is master's spirit. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. They don't consider righteousness. They don't consider the heavenly father through his son, okay? All right? They don't consider uh, uh, this truth, okay? All right? They like they, they want to know how the heavenly father do things, all right, through his son. But they can't get that because they don't want to be clean. All right, because they don't want. But well, if they don't want to accept the prophets, all right, then you ain't going to want to accept the heavenly father through his son. Okay. All right. Um, let's jump down to. Okay, right, let's read it. A sinful nation of people laden. All right, let's look up the word laden. Heavily loaded, <laughs> heavily loaded or weighed down, burdened, laden. A uh, sinful nation of people laden, heavily loaded with iniquity. All right, in pork, shrimp, lobster again, lineups. All right, wearing dreadlocks, uh, uh, wearing blonde hair, wearing pants, women wearing pants, men wearing pants, tight as a uh, goddamn uh, spandex. All right. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, women ruling uh, over men, working in governmental jobs or good, good men positions. Okay. Uh, uh, men being effeminate and weak and soft, crying, crying, uh, crying like little girls. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, a sinful nation, a sinful a, a people. It says a sinful nation. So you gotta just think how the Lord's thinking, like. Man, you, man, my people, my people is through. <laughs> my people is through. They don't listen. Some hard-headed children. I gotta wake up. I have to have some of my sons wake up. Some of my daughters that, you know, they want to do righteousness and try to get right with me. That's that's what I'm gonna deal with. The rest, I'm gonna whoop their ass. All right. That's how the Lord's thinking right now in the heaven. All right. Through His only begotten Son, Israel's about to get an ass whooping. Okay. A sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, the seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh by Shin Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel, which is Yahweh Shai, to, unto anger. They are gone away backwards. All right. They want to uh, follow the way of the heathen. All right. They said righteousness, and eh, we're good. We're going to do wickedness. All right. That's what they're saying in their mind. Or they say they do things indirectly. All right, to show uh, uh, they're against the heavenly father through his son. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. All right. So they think uh, that they, they think uh, they know that being an Israelite, because you got an uh, Israel that know they're Israel, but they're still ninjas. All right. They think they uh, um, they think they're going to be justified by the law, and which how was shot made the law dead all right you have to have faith we established the law all right but what's more than most important we have to have faith in we have to have faith in Yahusha. okay we're not justified the law by the law we are justified by faith okay but israel as a whole the whole head is sick all right now you got all these over righteous uh, 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 uh knuckleheads out here okay Trying to uh, say, oh, 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 you, you got a demon on you. Yo, oh, yo, I got, oh, oh, the blood of Jesus is against you. You know, it, that's not even the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Yahawashai. Okay, and he's a so called Negro. We don't worship that pale face, all right, uh, pedophile image, which is uh, Cesare Borgia. Okay, we don't worship that. That's a, that's a Renaissance uh, uh, criminal of the 1400s. <laughs> And the Renaissance mean rebirth, meaning, all right, they perform iconoclasm, uh, whitewashing all the images of Israel, the Heavenly Father and His Son and the angels, okay, uh, from uh, uh, dark skin to pale skin, okay, and they did that by way of Michelangelo, all right, he was a part of that uh, 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 that uh, uh, iconoclasm act of basically. Uh, 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 being a black, well, being blasphemers, okay. 
all right so why should ye why should ye be stricken anymore ye will revolt more and more the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint our people are through all right you see them on the corners uh uh, uh, uh taking up the nutcrackers and uh, smoking up them k2s and uh smoking all these uh, uh, uh everything <laughs> smoking coke sniffing coke taking pills and molly who they learned that from that's right the so-called white man all right he imported drugs for all people to uh, uh sin against the heavenly father through his son man all right to the father temple as we know esau the so-called white man he's the father already he's against the heavenly father the prophets and the angels when they see the chariots they bug out so when our people see the chariots they don't know what it is why because they learn from the oppressors not knowing that those are the uh, the vehicles of our salvation. That's the vehicles that the Heavenly Father is going to uh, uh, fight with, all right, against the oppressors in the next world's war, which is what why, why which is why the other nations are preparing for that battle that battle in the Valley of um, Yahweh Shaphat. Okay, so we we had some beautiful times, you know, the Wadi Al Bashir and Shai for waking up the prophets, all right, for waking us up out of this this. Uh, all right, this this narcissism, uh, this deep sleep of Babylon the Great. This we were crabs in a barrel. We don't know when we was gonna make it out of here, but the Lord freed our minds. All right, the scriptures say what? Let's get it. We shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Uh, and I'm gonna come back. We got a kingdom come, so we have nothing to worry about. The the, the elects, the the elect, the believers of the Lord Yahweh Shimon Hashai is good. We're gonna be eating at that time. All right, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be covered by the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimon Hashai. The Lord gonna make sure His people are good. The remnants, all right, the the remnant of the nation of uh, the remnant of Yahweh Shai actually. We're, the Lord's gonna make sure we're good. All right, you're gonna make sure the angels protect us. All right, he's gonna make sure. All right, we're protected. All right, but if if it comes down to it, if we gotta fight, we you know the Lord's gonna make sure that uh, we uh, conquer our battles. Okay, if we gotta go through death, the Lord's gonna make us give us that spirit to conquer death. All right, so we are predestined from the foundation of the heaven to conquer. All right, whatever obstacle. All right, the Lord have uh, um, given us as a test. To get that real quick. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Free in what? You're from your mindset of, of being in, uh, in this uh, captive world, this, this uh, the, the chains of this world. Okay? Because what this world and the, and the oppressors have done. They have enslaved our minds to, from knowing the truth of the Bible. That's what they truly have done. They have uh, hid away, all right, the name of the Heavenly Father through His Son. They have hid away our heritage. But uh, miraculously, the Lord had uh, had it away where He woke up a uh, uh, special men like Abba Vivens, and we believe that was John the Baptist, King Marshar, and uh, uh, High, uh, High Priest Yaquab. All right, and now. Uh, uh, since they have passed on, now this truth, this legacy have continued on with uh, Elder Apostle Tahar going on down to us younger brothers. So we know the truth. All right? we're, not, we're not caught in the snares of this world. We're not caught by the, the entertainers, all right, and the, and the um, enchantments and magic through music, all right, media, all right, celebrity, watch. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't uh, fashioned by that. We are paying attention to what our Lord Yahweh Bashim al is doing with the other nations because there's going to be a war all right and a, a war is on the horizon so the lord had woken up the mighty men of israel to go preach all right to the captives that they have a chance of being saved from their captivity we are still in captivity to this day man nothing changed under the sun the only person the only beings that could take us out of captivity is the heavenly father through his son which is yahweh shimia 
And that's what we waiting on. We waiting on our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to redeem us, to buy, which means to buy back. All right, to uh, basically purchase us back without, without money. So the Lord is going to uh, abduct us from uh, America. He's going to abduct us from before the destruction happened on America. Okay. Ye shall know the truth, not lies. This place promotes nothing but lies. But let's read it in the uh, NLT. Let's read that in the NLT real quick. Who is that? John. Eight and thirty-two, and the NLT, and this was Yahweh Shai's words when the world he called Jesus. All right, Yahweh Shai said this: "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." And we're gonna read that in the NLT, and the NLT, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It will set you free from the the, the, the traps and the snares of this world, this, this lies that they push forth. Right, saying that um you could you could be rich tomorrow, you know, you're gonna be a uh, 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 famous, all right. You have to sell out in order to be famous. In order to get rich, you have to you have to uh, sacrifice your your life and your time just to make money. The Lord the Lord is gonna make us rich overnight, man. After He destroyed the society and delivered the elect, all we gotta do is prophesy and preach the word, all right. Break down the scriptures. To the best of our ability, all right, to the uh, lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we have sovereignty coming, all right. We have peace coming. So we're gonna now we're gonna be changed, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Okay. All right. And if we can look up, let's look up truth in the Greek. This is uh, Aletheia. Strong's G225. Aletheia. 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 Objectively, what is true in any matter under consideration, truly in truth, according to truth, of a truth, a reality, in fact, certainly. Knowing that we're the Israelites. Okay? We are the Israelites. We are not black, African, American. We're not Spanish. We are not uh, Indian savages. We are Israelites. We are princes of the power. All right. You have different. You have different nations of Hebrews, but we are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Coming out of Abraham. All right. We are Hebrew Israelites. All right. And from from uh, Sham to uh, uh, Eber. All right, you had different Hebrew tribes, all right, like Elam, all right, Moab, all right. Moab came out of, Moab and Ammon came out of Lot, but Lot was Hebrew, okay, because that was, uh, Lot was um, Abraham's nephew, all right. So you have different Hebrew tribes, all right, different Hebrew nations, but the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel from Abraham Isaac to Jacob, all right. That it, Isaac the seed shall be called. Okay, let me see if I can grab it. All right, let me finish that first. Uh, 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 truly and truth, according to truth, of a truth in reality, in fact, what is true in things of, appertaining to God, not of man, and the duties of man. Moral, religious truth, the greatest latitude, the true notions of the Heavenly Father through His Son, all right, which are true notions of the Allah which are open to human reason without His supernatural intervention. Okay, that God is speaking about Yahweh Shai. The truth, it, as taught in the Christian religion, all right, it, well. Well, we are we are the anointed, okay. When you go to the word uh, Christian, it just means the anointed, all right. But the true, the uh, the true anointed one is the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai, all right. But we are anointed too, cause we got we, we was given this truth, this oil, okay. 
to know uh, our the, our heavenly Father and the, to know the only begotten Son, and to know that we're Israelites. All right, and then and that's what the world try to hide away from us, uh, which is why our people are getting uh, 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 again treated the way they are treated because they are sons and and daughters of the living power. All right, because the heavenly Father is using these nations to be uh, basically punish us for our sins. Okay. But it is, that won't be too long because the Lord is about to flip the script and put you nations in captivity and we're going to be beating on y'all, man. Okay? And we're going to be ruling forever. And that's coming to the planet Earth. Our rulership. All right? But it goes on. A truth as a personal excellence. All right? What did I say I was going to get? It's always happening. Oh yes, Isaac C. Shepherd call. All right, because the Lord is only dealing with the elect right now. All of Israel is not going to be saved in this go around because y'all ignorant and y'all rebelliousness is going to get y'all uh, destroyed, man. Okay, that's what it is. All right, Genesis uh, 21, all right, and 12, and it says, And God said unto Abraham, all right, which is Yahawashai, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman, and all, the, and all that Sarah have said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. See? So the Lord said that in Isaac the seed shall be called, and who was called in, in, that, in, that, uh, in that notion. And also the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. Okay. All right. And it says, let's go to uh, Romans 9 for that precept, 9 and 7. It says, Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called that is they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of Yahweh all right but Hashem Yahweh Shai all right but the children of the promise are counted for the seed all right verse 9 for this is the word of the promise at this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son all right and Sarah had a son okay Abraham and uh Abraham Sarah had Isaac and and what and it says not only this but when Rebecca also had conceived by one even by our father Isaac okay our father Isaac which was Yahawashai okay which was the the only begotten son all right in in a reincarnation in one of his reincarnation and it says eleven verse eleven for the children being not yet born neither have done any good or evil so this was predestined from the foundation of the heaven. Yahweh had already set this up, okay, through his only begotten son, that the purpose of Yahweh, all right, according to the election, might stand, not of the works, but of him that called him. It was said unto her, the elder, who's the elder? It was Esau, right? The elder shall serve the younger, all right? The elder shall serve the younger, okay? So, the other was Esau, he came out first, and then Jacob came out after. So now it's written, verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord already written this from the foundations of the heaven. All right, so the Lord, he loved uh, Jacob, okay, and he hates Esau. What, sh what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? God forbid, which means hells, no. So there's no unrighteousness with the heavenly father to his son. The Lord already set this up from the foundation of the heavens for Jacob to have dominion over basically the whole earth. He was given and um, and uh, uh, slaves. Basically, Esau was supposed to be a slave under Jacob regardless. All right. It's just that the Lord had a uh, kings. Kings are not made. I mean, kings. Kings are not born. Salakia. They are made. 
So we had to suffer all the atrocities of, of slavery and captivity to captivity to understand, all right, how to be a king. So kings are made by the hell that they have to go through. A king, a king is not made overnight, just like King David. He had to be made a king, meaning he had to slew Goliath, he had to conquer the other nations, all right, and he had to he had to show why he deserved to be king and what the and the and the how a, who the only who the world only called God, all right, basically uh, blessed him with kingship because he conquered all these nations, and then he give he couldn't do it, he couldn't build that temple of the heavenly Father, all right. Because his, he had too much blood on his hands, okay. So he had to do. He had to give that to his son, um, Solomon. All right, Solomon, which means his name means literally uh, Shalom is peace. All right, he was able to do it because his hands was clean from blood. All right, so that's why he had to uh, give that unto his son Solomon. All right, and David had a lot of kids, man, but he chose Solomon to be that righteous figure, in which was the only begotten son. All right, reincarnation, okay, and which we Negroes, Latinos, they're Americans. We we had rulership for forty years, and what happened after that? Solomon started to uh, drift over to uh, the philosophy of his women. All right, and which is why I, the scriptures say, "I find more bitter than death the woman who bands and snares." All right, who hands his bands and snares. So that's why we advise Negro, Latino, and their American men to be careful of the woman you're dealing with, because she's not with you. All right, she's for the white man. All right, she's for the uh, the other nations, man. Because they have the power and the resources. Okay, this is why we tell we call it unto the men to repent. All right, and be clean. All right, from from the snares of this world, and, and your woman, because she's she's right next to you, sleeping at bed at night, plotting against you. How she could overthrow you or sell you out to uh, uh, the, uh, the law enforcement or something like that. So that's why you have to stay strong in this truth with your mindset. Or just be focused, just laser focused on Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. All right? And that's what matters most. Our Lord Yahweh Shai establishing his kingdom upon planet earth. In which he's going to be king of kings, lords of lords. Which is going to be written on his vesture. All right? Okay? But when the Lord Yahusha comes, he's gonna conquer, man. All right, they ain't, you can't fight something. You can't fight a spirit. <laughs> so Esau is fighting a losing battle. The so-called white man is fighting a losing battle. You can't fight what you can't see, man. Okay, they have all these laser technologies and satellites all over the earth, trying to look out for the chariots, and you can't stop it. You can't stop chariots, man. You can't stop angels. All right. The so-called white man is trying to fight angels, man. And there's so-called black men. All right? They're mighty, strong black men that are operating UFOs. It's not demons. It's not no great aliens. All right? They're angels on those ships that have been showing themselves all right, on the news. At the Pentagon. All right? In Russia. All right? World War III is inevitable. It's going to happen. You already got, you got Russia have a, a choir singing about destroying Babylon, destroying America, all right? They're talking about destroying America, man. And they're talking about our people being foolish. So I'm sure two-thirds of our people are going to get cut off and die, man, okay? So this place is, is on its way out. You got businesses closing. You have, uh, uh, you have uh, people losing jobs, people getting, dying from uh, this a Marion variant, all right? This place is going down the sinkhole. It's going down like um, like a, a camel taking a shit in the desert. Okay? And after that shit is being taken, it's going to get washed away, man. So America is going down the garbage. Okay? It's going down the, uh, the drain. It's finished. It's over. All right? And for you women, if y'all don't get right, the Lord's going to he's gonna visit y'all, man. All right? He's going to visit a lot of these women because they've been full of pride. Been kicking the man out the house, all right. Destroying the mind, trying to destroy the mindset of the Israelite man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American men, and you men have became weak and effeminate. And when war happens, the Lord is going to throw you in the battlefield. Y'all going to get a uh, 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 smoke, okay? That's what happened. When you, that's what you get for rebellion, rebelliousness. 
Okay. Uh, yep. All right, so let's go back to Isaiah 1. I want to finish that up. Get that Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, Isaiah 1. Yeah, I'm getting cold. All right. Isaiah 1, verse 6. From the sole of the foot un unto the head, there is no soundness in it. All right. Our people are, are, are gone. That's what the Lord is saying. All right. They're deprived of the truth. They're deprived of righteousness. They're like zombies. There's no soundness in it. All right. And they, they, everything they, they, they do is, is uh, based upon death. The rap culture, you know, gang, 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 this. All right. Fatianas and divas. All right. All right. The, uh, degenerate women, degenerate men. Everything is death. Our people do it. There's no soundness. All right. They go to all the nations for advice. To worship the enemy. Okay. But wounds and bruises and petrifying sores, they have not been closed, neither bond up, neither mollified with ointment, meaning our people are are, 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 are destroyed. Okay? They, they're, they're wounded in the spirit. They're trying to look for peace, but they don't get none. Alright, because they don't want to come back to peace. Alright, they avoid peace the best for the, to the best of their ability. Literally, they walk past this truth like nothing happened. All right, and then when when death visit them, all right, and any formation, all right, the and they get they go right in, right before the Father, right before Yahweh Shai actually, like all right, because all power was given unto the Son. He tells them why you avoided the prophet, <laughs> you avoided the truth of the Bible, all right. You didn't hearken, you ain't take heed, okay. Verse 7, your country is desolate, your cities are burnt with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Okay? Meaning Israel, our place is through. Okay, they've been they've been uh, polluting the, those those oppressors, right? The fake Jews, the 1948ers, they over our in our land, all right, They're polluting it. You got uh Africans over there, you got Chinese over there, everybody's in our land. All right, they they made it desolate. All right, they made righteousness desolate. It says, verse eight, and the daughter, the daughter of Zion, is left as a cottage in a vineyard, meaning we're we, we're in slavery. All right, we left in slavery on the slave ships, land to slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. All right, even during the Syrian captivity, because you had the northern tribe over here, the the native the native tribes over here before um before everybody else. All right, when they got over here, the Assyrians came to uh, oppress them. <laughs> All right, which is the so basically is which is the, the the Edomites came to oppress our people. Okay, and it says the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage, in a vineyard, as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. We mean we're destroyed. All right, we've been uh, oppressed and destroyed by the uh, the oppressors. Verse 9, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small, what? A very small, let's read it again. Except the Lord, Yahweh Ba, Hashem Yahweh hosts, the Lord of hosts left unto us a very small remnant. So not everybody's going to get saved. Only the elect, only the small remnant, okay, that, that believe upon this truth, this word. All right, believe on the holy scriptures, the holy Bible, man. All right, the Lord is only saving the elect, one third. All right, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, meaning all destroyed. Everybody would have been put to death. Everybody. Today, we're talking, man. We wouldn't be living here, man, if it wasn't for the only begotten Son being a. Uh, uh, being a, a sacrifice right now we're going through the grace and mercy period of our lord yahweh shai and tell uh the heavenly father yahweh seals the elect and once the elect is sealed oh yeah all hell breaking loose you're gonna see leviathan you're gonna see newly created beasts and creatures and then that's to punish the wicked all right the wicked of our people and the wicked themselves all right and this says um I'm gonna wrap this up. Man. 
wrap this up. Hear the word of Yahweh, ye rulers of Sodom, and give ear unto the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. So that's what we're here to proclaim, right? We're here to proclaim to our people to repent, to proclaim to, to, to the, the, the oppressors that their kingdom is going down, man. Okay? Let's go to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. But the Lord is getting ready to pay, re, repay um, the wicked of our people and the other nations to their face. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Let's see. I think it was in seven. Hold on. Deuteronomy chapter seven, yep. Uh let's start at night know therefore that Yahweh your power know therefore the Lord thy God he is he is God the faithful God which keepeth the covenant and mercies and the mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations so the Lord commandments and his uh, uh, his covenant is forever all right is only for who the elect the, the, basically the nation of Israel as collectively but it's, it's beginning with the elect okay so verse 10 and and repay to repay them that hate him to their face meaning even our people because they like to buck up against the prophets they like to buck up against the truth he repay them to their face so it means he gonna visit you in your sleep he gonna visit you all right in different ways man that's how the heavenly father works if you you disrespect one of his men he's gonna repay for you to your face all right even the oppressors he's gonna pray we're gonna repay them they're gonna slave him, okay to destroy them he will not be slack to him that hated him he will repay him to his face so your is getting ready to repay you other nations and you you niggas okay and um Amos chapter 9 Verse 8 Behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon this sinful kingdom And I will destroy it from off The face of the earth Alright so the Lord says he's going to destroy this place Off the face of the earth And we're going to read it for the NLT Save that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob Save the Lord so that means he's going to reserve the elect Protect the elect Alright protect his remnant which is a small number The chosen and we're going to read it for the NLT. Uh, a lot of demons out here, man. All right. So let's read that. It says in the NLT, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. I, the sovereign Lord, the sovereign Lord, am watching the sinful nation of Israel. I will destroy it from the face of the earth, but I will never completely destroy the family of Israel, says the Lord. Okay? So, he's watching the sinful nation of Israel because they are a rebellious people and wicked, but it could go pertaining to America too. This is a sinful kingdom. Right? And the N this NKJV, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from the face of the earth. Yet I will not only destroy the, the house of Jacob, says the Lord. Alright, so he's not he's not gonna completely destroy the house of Jacob. He's gonna uh, preserve the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. Let's continue reading. Okay. Alright. And go with your mommy. Be safe, alright? Be careful out here. And ride safely. All right, it says, For lo, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is sift in the seed. So, our people, Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, need to repent, be sorry for your sins, and call upon the name Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, 
That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And his son's name is Yahushai. Yahushai is coming back to save the elect, to save the, uh, uh, the, the captives, which are the Negro Latinos and the Americans. We are still in slavery to this day, man. And I can read it for just for uh, edification's sake. In Baruch, chapter 3, verse 4. Um, no, no, verse 8. And it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. That's why the so-called white people and all the other nations, Chinese, uh, Africans, they, you know, they laugh at us and scorn us because uh, the Lord put us in captivity under them. All right. This is our punishment. We, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are thou. It says, where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse to be subject to payments for our sins. All right, we are subject unto payments. We got to pay debt. We got to pay uh, uh, insurance and rent. All right, we got to pay car notes. But ultimately, this is going to be our repay the Lord for our sins, man. And how do we do that? How are we repaying the Lord? By making our bodies a living sacrifice. By constantly listening to the prophets. Constantly listening to the elders. Constantly uh, reading the word. Subject to a payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Which, the, which departed from the Lord our God. So our fathers basically mindset departed from the ways of righteousness. The ways of the truth. Hear Israel the commandments of life. Give air to understand wisdom. And wisdom is a gift from the Heavenly Father through the Son. All right? To basically, uh, uh, to basically protect us from, uh, all right, the wickedness of the nations. How to deal, people, deal with people wisely and how to uh, do things, all right, righteously to the best of your ability. How happened it, how happened it, Israel, that... Thou art in thy enemy's land. You are in thy enemy's land. America is the enemy. All right. Who's the enemy? The so-called white man, the Edomites. That thou art waxing old in a strange country. That thou art defiled with the dead, which is the other nations. You are defiled. All right. We have learned the ways of wickedness. Okay. The Lord said we are defiled with the strangers, with the dead. The Lord said. The, uh, the the other nations are are like spittle. They're nothing to him, man. Let's grab it, anyways. Uh, let's grab it. Spittle. Let's see if I can grab the spittle. Let's excuse me, not spittle. Let's go. Alright, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 17 All nations before him Are as nothing And they are counted to him Less than nothing And vanity So the Lord said all these nations that are against Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans Are counted as nothing, they're vanity Alright, they are boasting their guns They they uh, they worship cows They worship the sun Why do why, why you think you get Sunday Alright, Monday Monday moon worship they worship vanity. So they, they count it as what? Vanity to the heavenly father through his son. And it says, To whom then will ye liken God, or what likeness will ye compare unto him? So you can't compare to the, the heavenly father through his son unto these false idols and these God, false gods. All right? They, the heavenly father through his son, they're, they're in the heavens. They're in the class of, <laughs> they're in the class of the elites of the elites of society, man. All right? Basically, the, the elites of the, they, they are the elites in the universe, okay? All right, they're perfect, and that's what that's what we're trying to become perfect. All right, that's why we're out here doing this work. All right, this uh, making our bodies a living sacrifice for the heavenly Father through His Son to become what perfect. All right, and how are we gonna conquer death? All right, by overcoming this the the mindset of this world. Cause this world promotes what? Death. 
all right and the bodies that we're living in is death so how we overcome death by what getting back into this these holy scriptures getting back into this truth getting back into righteousness all right because we're going to be made perfect when the lord yahweh comes back and change us all right in a moment of a twinkling of an eye at the last trump Verse 19, the workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold and cast a silver chain. He that is so impoverished that he have no ob oblations, choose a tree that will not rot. He seek unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Verse 21, have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told of you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Verse 22, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. So this earth is not flat, all right? It's a circle. And, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. The Lord considered people like bugs. Very minuscule, okay? That stretch it out the heavens as a curtain, because Yahweh Shai is what? Stretching out the heavens as a curtain. For who? For the sake of the elect. Remember, the scriptures say what? One shall be one 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 nation shall be a thousand. All right. When we get up in our rulership, all right, we're gonna have multiple children, and with that multiple children, we're gonna have what? Multiple wives. All right. So the elect man is gonna be glorified, beginning with our Lord Yahweh Shai and the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. We're gonna be glorified, man. And it says, it says what? That should, it says. The inhabitants there are, are as grasshoppers that stretch it out the heavens as a curtain and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. That bringeth the princes to nothing, and he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. And that's what Esau have done. All right. He made who's the princes? The so called Negro Latinos, Native American men. We're the princes. All right? But the Lord said he made us as nothing. So the, being under the captivity of these so called white people and other nations. We are considered as nothing right now. But when the Heavenly Father through His Son come back and establish His kingdom upon this earth, we're going to be judges. We're going to be renewed. All right? Everything's going to be in order, beginning with uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And it's going to be a, 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 a alpha male, okay, order, dominion. All right? And men is going to have multiple wives. All right? This, this notion of you only got one woman and your woman beating you, beating you over the head with her lies and confusion. It's going to stop. It's going to come to a halt. All right. The Lord is going to stop all this madness. All right. And put it in a, a, a basically a great fire. Okay. So it says, verse 24, yeah, they shall not be planted. Yeah, they shall not be sown. Yeah, the stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. And you consider the whirlwind, that's the UFOs, they're going to take them away as a stubble, meaning they're going to they're gonna be put to death, all right? A lot of, a lot of, man, the Lord's going to destroy this place, okay? He's going to take away, he's going to take away the infrastructure, infrastructure of what the heathen built upon this earth through the Israelites. All this oppression and madness is going to come to an end. All right, that's why the scriptures say, um, show your oppression, make a wise man mad. All right. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse seven, truly oppression, all right, which is the uh, uh, us being in captivity, making a wise man mad. Man, who's that wise man? Yeah, big game with our Lord Yahweh Shai because he was under the oppression first by the Romans, all right, and our people selling out. All right. Surely, a, a surely oppression making a wise man mad, and a gift destroyed the heart. And when our people will receive the gifts of the heathen, all right, of of, of becoming famous and getting a lot of money and being in the Colosseum, you get receiving rewards of idols and stuff like that. All right, that's that's a gift destroying the heart, destroying the mind. Okay, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. There was, so the Lord basically said it's better to be. It's better to uh, it's better to die than to be born. So let's read it again. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. All right, 
and the patient in the spirit is better than the proud in spirit so you people thinking america is going to continue you thought wrong man and that's why we waiting for our lord yahweh shai in the spirit all right to come back and rescue us from this captivity right, as a as a recorded in baruch chapter 3 verse 8 we are yet in this day in our captivity okay so better is the end of a thing so we want to see this place going out man and this place is going to go out by way of fire okay be not hasty in this in thy spirit to be angry for anger resteth in the bosom of fools and um uh, and the so-called white man is a is the representation of anger all right of a fool just like how esau sold out his birthright for red pottage he was hasty in the spirit all right so he's a he's a part of a bosom of fools okay and you can take that in, as in, a, in your life every day because you have a lot of people all right they're hasty to 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 be angry and they don't want to be spiritual about dealing if this place was spiritual this place this earth would have been full of peace but being that this place this earth is not spiritual and carnal this this earth is full of death so the only people that the lord is considering is the elect all right he see the he, he see that spiritual gem upon the earth that's waiting for his return okay uh All right. Um, let's go to Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Begin the, at least the Rockchild Rockefellers. All right, they have they have a uh, they have an agenda, a new world agenda, the new world order. And they are trying to go, they're trying to fulfill their lust of, of accomplishing the Georgia Guidestones of making this place of 500 million, uh, 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 500 million people in, on the earth. And they look, they're looking for basically a special people, a special couple of people to continue their, their reign of wickedness. All right. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. The least, the Rothschild, Rockefellers, the Abrahamers. All right, they, they they plot wickedness, all right, in their in their uh, their meetings, their ceremonies, all right, they're they they're wicked, they're wicked meetups, okay, all right, they they they, they snatch children, they're pedophiles and they're weirdos, are blood drinkers, all right, and rapists, okay, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, all right, who has the earth? Right, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? And that's Esau, beginning with the elites, man. All right, the earth is in their hand. Okay, and they work. They work in wickedness to try to depopulate the world, having this place under a totalitarianism. All right, control, having people to take what the the karagma, which is the uh, the incision mark upon the skin. All right, they trying to shoot shoot that. That rice grain up your skin, man. All right, they want to shoot the rice grain in your skin. And it says, and they covet fields and take them, take them by violence and houses. And they take them away, so they oppress a man and his house. That's what they did to you, Israelites. You got the 1948ers in the land of Israel. And why is why you think it's still called the land of Israel? Because the heavenly Father still has that land in His hand. All right. They they know they can't change that the name of that land, which is why they try to they try to just uh, uh, challenge the Lord by uh, destroying uh, the, uh, destroying Israel. All right, but the Lord said, if you still see the stars and the moon, that means we're still here. Okay, so Negro Latinos in America, you better be grateful that the Heavenly Father still have you alive, man. All you ninjas. All right, y'all all rebellious and wicked. Scripture said rebellion is as the sin as witchcraft. All right, y'all so ungrateful that the Lord gave y'all life, man. Y'all want to continue in y'all uh, wickedness. Y'all want to continue ignoring the word. And the Lord is gonna visit you, man. 
I saw the oppressed a man in his house, even a man and his heritage. That's what they did, man. They oppressed our heritage. They call themselves the Jews. All right? The small hats. All right? The 48ers. And that's when they got the, um, their religion established. 1948, the Be uh, Balfour Declaration. All right? May 14, 1948. That's when they said, we have, uh, uh, we claim the state of Israel. All right? But remember, we were, we were Jews from what? Forever, man. Since the day of Abraham, um, from Abraham had Isaac and Isaac had Jacob. And his name was later changed to Israel because he wrestled the an angel. So that name was, so that name Israel is divine. Okay, which means he prints power. And you say that in the Hebrew is Yashar Allah. Okay, which means he prints power. And it says, uh, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. They still have us in slavery, man. So the Lord had to remove these yokes of our necks. All right. But he's going to do that violently, man. He's going to take us, he's going to take up his elect with a strong arm. Basically, abduct us out of this wicked captivity and destroy this place with uh, nuclear fire, man. All right, because Yahweh Shai and the holy angels is going to come back from the fourth dimension, cracking open the skies, and there's going to be a flood of chariots fighting against uh, the American Air Force, the U.S. military, the Russian military, the China military. It's going to be a war in heaven, and they're going to prove what? They ain't going to win. All right, There's, America, as we know, is going to be on fire. A lot, all these houses and buildings you see is going to be on fire, man. All right, but the, it's going to be a civil war, right? Jacob's trouble. Okay, a famine. All right, a lot of people are going to be starving to death. Some people are going to be uh, committing cannibalism. That's why these Americans is talking about, oh, what if, uh, what if there was cannibalism? How would you feel about eating a human? This place is defiling, disgusting, man. All right, which is why we need the Savior Yahweh to come back immediately to establish His kingdom upon this earth, and then us, the, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American chosen, all right, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be ruling, man. So we we have sovereignty coming, even if we have to die on this side. We just know that we're going to be dying for the Lord Yahweh as He died for us in our sins. All right. So we are repaying the Lord by making our what? Our body a living sacrifice. All right? That's how we're repaying the Lord, making our body a living sacrifice. He said, have, this, have the faith of the grain of a mustard seed. And if you look up the uh, mustard seed, it's a very small seed. So the Lord is just saying, have a little faith. And faith is what? Something that you can't see, but it's something that you hope for. That's something that you believe in. All right? And we believe in our Lord Yahweh Shai. We tr put our trust in the Lord Yahweh Shai. And um, I'm gonna uh, wrap it up. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Let's read Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. The food is polluted. The, the air is polluted. The water is polluted. The, uh, the animals are polluted. The fruits are polluted. Everything is polluted on this earth because the earth is given the hands of, of the wicked. And the earth doesn't it can't yield her it can't yield her strength because the blood was uh, shed upon the earth. And when blood is on upon up the earth, the earth becomes weak, which is why you see spoiled fruits, spoiled um herbs, all right? The animals they taste contaminated because of all that mercury in the sea. All right. All right, the air is uh, uh controlled with geo uh, geoengineering. Um, and they they getting ready to turn on the five heat towers to pull up the air, the birds. Are right? you thinking you see birds trying to attacking like the the power lines or whatever? Because they are uh, they they are radiating you people. They are radiating the earth. The the animals have more sense than humans, man. The animals see the conditions of the earth that is bad. This is why we need the Lord Yahushua to come back immediately. Or else everybody dies. 
And that's what it is, man. The longer the so-called white people rule and have the hands in the earth, the more people die, man. The more we are going to die if we don't have the Lord come back. If your house shy don't come back, everybody fucking dies. We need you, Lord. Or else, earth as you know it is doomed. Which is why there's going to be a lot of hell when the Lord uh, uh, start, uh, uh, when the Lord returns. There's going to be a lot of hell leading up to the Lord. So a lot of you niggas is going to give up yourselves to the so-called white man because y'all trying to save your life. All right. But let's see who's going to make it. <laughs> let's see if you're going to make it to the missiles. All right. But we know that the Lord is going to have witches get caught in them fire, man. All right, all you witches are gonna get caught in the fire, and Esau's one big witch. Nothing but enchantments and uh, strong delusions being pushed forth throughout the four corners of the earth. So, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. This place will destroy you, man. All right, everything is a lie here. Um, uh, let's see. Zephaniah 3 and 8. All right, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, which is World War Three. He's gathering the nations. You see, Russia against Ukraine, Iran. All right, China, all right, North Korea, all these nations being gathered for the valley, all right, for the uh, uh, for the valley of decision, which is going to happen in the Middle East, all right, Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shaphat, which is, means Yahweh's decision, where the Messiah, the only begotten Son, is going to be fighting in World War Three against these nations, okay. And he's a so-called black man who's going to literally vaporize all these nations to powder. And it says, and he's saving the elect, man. All right. Say the Lord until the day that I rise up, uh, up to the prey for my determination to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out, to pour upon them my in the nation, which is anger, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the heavenly father through his son is very mad. Okay? And but everybody think God is all good. When the Lord is a man of war. Exodus chapter 15 verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I would prepare him in habitation. My father's God and I will exalt him. All right, and that's going to Yahweh Shai. All right, he's our protector, he's our savior for the nation of Israel. Verse 3 The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name, his name is Yahweh. He exists. All right, he fought against the Egyptians in the time of Egypt. He fought against, uh, he used David to fight against the, uh, the Philistines. All right, the Lord is a man of war. Why do you think you have the book of Judges? The book of Judges is the Israelites being judged according to their wickedness of following idols. That's why you have the book of Judges. The Lord always, the Lord, Lord always had established a, a judge for the nation of Israel, and He would judge them according to the wickedness of worshiping other gods. And this time, man, man, oh man, Jacob's trouble is going to be horrible. A lot of people are going to get put to death in that time of Jacob's trouble, man. So the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. He's not all love. God is not all love, man. It just said it right there. Exodus chapter 15 and 3. The Lord Yahweh, that's his name. He exists, he's to be. He's a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host have he cast into the sea. His chosen captains are drowned in the Red Sea. And he's going to drown the so-called white man and his army into the, in the, into the sea, man. All right. That's where we at with it. Um, so, 
We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna read like two more. So let's talk about the daughters of Zion. All right. Let's talk about the daughters of Zion, man. All right. Lamentation chapter four, verse two: The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? The work of the hands of the potter, meaning our people, or the men of our people, have become like garbage. All right, they have become defiled. They have become wrecked. And then you go, verse three. It says what? Even the sea monsters draw the breast. They give suck to the young ones. The daughters of my people. It's become cruel. All right? Negro, Latino, Native American women have become cruel. The nigger women. It's become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaves to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread and no man break it unto them. So our, the children of our people, Negro, Latino, and Native American are suffering because they have cruel mothers. All right? They have cruel, cruel mothers. They want to do whatever they want. They want to run. They want to uh, think about money. They want to run away from responsibility. All right. Or taking care of the child in the house. All right. They want to be single, independent, which is a demonic way of thinking. Okay. Verse five. That they, they that did feed delicately, are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in a scarlet embraces dung hills. Verse 6, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hand stayed on her. So the daughter of the Lord's people, which are the Negro, Latino, Native American women, are going to be, they're going to be punished, man, for their wickedness, and their pride, all right, and their enviousness, all right? So... Our women are not safe. And that's why the Lord said, in that day, he gonna make a what? A man more fine than gold. What? Let me see. Isaiah chapter 13 and 12. Let me see. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. He said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So when all hell break loose, the chosen men of the nation of Israel, Negro, Latino, Native American men, are going to be like what? Fine gold. All right. So the Lord is dealing with the men of the nation of Israel. He's not dealing with no women. He, he said the woman is a weaker vessel. And he also said, the scriptures also said, a shameless woman is counted as a dog. All right. She that is shamefaced shall fear the Lord. And we don't, see, we don't see none of that out here. We see nothing but shameless dogs, man. All right. So as soon as you tell our women about the truth, they want to fight you. They want to. They want to throw a rock. They want to throw a whole phone at you. They want to flip tables. All right, you tell them about you gotta have multiple women. Oh, it's over. Don't even say. That's why the scriptures say um. He the scriptures say what he haven't imparted wisdom unto her, man. All right, and, and the scriptures also say what uh, give that which is holy unto dogs. Cause our women are dogs, man. <laughs> so give that which is holy unto dogs. So you hold this truth. As a, as a precious stone for yourself Okay Even if she know the truth You still you still treat her as if She's a woman of the world man You hide this truth for you But it's for you Alright discretion Use discretion Let me see Proverbs 3 and 21 My son, let them let not them depart from thine eyes Keep sound wisdom and discretion Verse 22 shall, So shall they be life unto thy soul And grace to thy neck So you ought to have used wisdom and discretion In this wicked society Because everybody is trying to uh, uh, Persecute and destroy the men of the Lord Alright The Lord said what? 
touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Right? So the Lord is protecting us, right? With with the wisdom that He given have given unto us and making us be uh, uh use, making us use discretion. Alright. Alright, and um let's jump over to verse five. Proverbs chapter three, verse five. Trust trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he sh he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord Yahweh and depart from evil. All right, we depart from evil just by coming in this truth and uh, 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 harking unto the wise counsels of the Heavenly Father through His Son, and that's, that's given unto our apostles. Okay. Um, let's read. Uh, Jeremiah 51 No, 50 and 14 Jeremiah 50 and 14 So this is the judgment of the uh, of Babylon the Great Alright 50 and 14 Let's start at verse 13 Because of the wrath of the Lord It shall not be inhabited But it shall be wholly desolate Everyone that go by Babylon Shall be astonished And hiss at all her plagues Meaning Jacob's trouble And this comes all right, there's going to be a lot of plagues that's going to be put upon this place, America. All right. All right. The diseases of different sorts, you know, wild beasts. All right. And uh, uh, um, missiles, war. A lot of plagues is coming to this place. Verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows and, we took, and the Lord the Heavenly Father is talking about missiles spare no missiles for she has sinned against Yahweh she, for she has sinned against the Heavenly Father Yahweh shout against her around about she has given her hand her foundations are fallen her walls thrown down for it is the vengeance of the Lord. And this place is already going down little by little, man. All right. Yeah, you got these businesses is closing down. All these uh, 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 big brother businesses is closing down. This place is falling. All right. She has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. America. All right. And she is like what? The Garden of Eden. Because you have abundance of food, abundance of women, abundance of everything you want to do here. All right. A, a, a different gods you could serve here. This this place is wicked. This place is just straight up wicked. All right. The Lord had Yahweh Shimei Hashem, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, is going to make an example of of this place, man. Example of why or why not to be wicked. Okay. Shot against her, round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she have done, do unto her. All right. There you go. All right. She's going to be destroyed, man. By missiles. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations are drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon. Is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain, and so she may be healed. And that's what happened. That's what's gonna happen when the missiles uh, fall upon this place and just scatter this place into pieces. You can read Revelation 18. You gonna read Revelation 18. All right. Standing afar, and verse 10. Standing afar for the fear of her torment. Saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, which is America, all right, America the Great. It says, that mighty city, for one hour is thy judgments come. All right, and the, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. All right, so this place is going to be completely obliterated. All right, and what's going to happen to the other nations in this place? What's well, going to happen to the other nations in the, in the future in the future kingdom? And it says, 
He that lead into captain, Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 9. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. There is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we're waiting for. Slavery for these uh, 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 other nations. And we could back that up with a precept. Isaiah 14. Verse one for the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall join unto them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them all right that's slavery in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives whose captives they were and who are the captives here? Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners who lineage go back to the seed of Israel. We are slaves here. So we're the captives, and we're gonna take y'all captives who's, a, who's of the other nations, man. So y'all can keep on mocking, cause y'all gonna slave them. If, and it says, they, they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve that the, thou shalt take up a proverb against the king of Babylon and say how have the oppressors ceased the golden city cease and, and meaning we're gonna, the Lord's going to Yahweh Shai is going to conquer uh, uh, all these nations and uh, put Babylon into, in, into a, a, a desolate wilderness by way of the nuclear missiles and your house shine the holy angels. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked, who is the so-called white people, and the scepters of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, and he that ruled the nations in, his, in, in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Meaning when these devils are stopped completely and put into slavery, all right, we're going to, the whole earth, earth is going to be at rest. And um, Psalm, Psalm, 1, Psalm 149. All right, this is the future, man. Psalm 149, praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in, his con in the congregation of the saints congregation of saints let israel rejoice in him that made him let the children of zion be joyful in the king verse three let them praise his name and the dance let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp for the lord yahweh take pleasure in his people and he will beautify the meek with salvation and that's coming all right salvation of yahweh is coming with the chariots to save the elect of the nation of israel all right, let the saints be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud upon their beds. Verse 6, let the praises, let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. That's slavery. Begin, begin with the elites of the, of the so-called white race. Rockchild, Rockefellers, Abrahamers, DuPonts, Gettysburg, Bloombergs. We're going to put them in slavery to execute upon, vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So that's slavery. Okay, and it's going to come back in a 360 degrees fashion from the heavenly father through his son all right so the new kings and judges of the earth is going to be established all right and it's in this in this future man and you there ain't gonna be no more 10 years in this place and every father through his son is going to speed up the time and put you niggas uh ninjas in captivity who had a hand in the misery of israel psalms 2 Verse 8, ask of me. As a matter of fact, let's, let's start with verse 7. Because this is Yahweh to his son, Yahweh. I will declare the decree. 
the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee, which is Yahweh, the only begotten son. For you Old Testament uh, Israelite who think Yahweh is not in the Old Testament, there you go. That's Yahweh in the Old Testament. Ask of me, I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, which is a which is rulership. Thou shalt dash them in the pieces like potters of vessel. Be wise now, therefore, ye, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him, and the elect that put their trust in Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. Kiss the sun, meaning worship the sun, all right? At the name of what? Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 Let's start at verse 9 Wherefore God has highly exalted him And given him a name which is above every name Which is Yahweh Because the heavenly father's name is in the only begotten son Alright, the heavenly father's name is Yahweh Alright, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai Alright, which means he saves, he delivers That at the name of Yahweh Shai Every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye always obey, not as in my presence only, but, not, but much more in my absence because you can't see the Lord. So the Lord said you got to work it out, man. But now much more in my absence. Work out your own. All right? Because this is what Negro, Latinos, Native American men don't like to do. They don't like to work out their own business. They don't like to work things for themselves. They want things to be hand given to them. They want people to do things for them. The Lord said this, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Wherefore, my beloved. All right? Because we can't keep on uh, uh, feeding you, feeding you, and then... You getting fat off of our hard work. You got to help yourself. Do your own business. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is, verse 13, for it is God which worketh in both, which worketh in you both to will to do his pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputings, all right? That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as light in the world, on the forth the word of life, which is this Bible, this truth, the knowledge of the Lord, all right? Doing righteousness, not wickedness. On the fourth, the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach, that I have not run in vain, neither labored, labored in vain. So we are doing this work in truth, sincerity, truth and sincerity, and having the faith and risking our lives and freedom to do so. All right, to obtain what salvation. All right, so we are very near to our salvation, and spiritual power is coming. All right, it's coming to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm, I'm going to close it out with that Isaiah chapter 40 Verse 31 As a matter of fact let's read uh, uh, The top and then we're going to end it with the, uh, the bottom uh, Isaiah 40 and 1 Come for ye, come for ye my people See if your God Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem Cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished That her iniquity is pardoned For she have received of the Lord's Hand double for all her sins. And we can jump down to verse 31. And it says, But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint in that spiritual power. Let's go into spiritual power. 
All right, the Lord's gonna renew us, make us brand new. All right, it's gonna happen on this side. All right, a spectacle of spiritual power, but it's gonna it's gonna be in its fullness in the kingdom. And uh, Malachi, when the enemy co shall come in like a flood, the Lord's gonna lift up a standard. And Malachi uh, four and two, we're gonna close it here. All right. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall all right and ye shall tread upon the wicked for they shall be ashes under your soles to your feet and the day that i shall do this saith the lord of hosts meaning the lord is going to put all right put the wicked in uh, uh, uh in the fire and they're going to be souls under our feet. Meaning when we be on the ships, we're going to see the fire of the lake of fire in America, man. All right. All right. So we're going to be a rise with healing from Yahweh shot. Meaning we're going to get delivered into the chariots. All right. So, you know, you know, stay strong out there, Akim. And you few sisters that watches and is sincere. All right. And you, you stay in order, man. All right. Because the Lord is heavenly watching on you women. All right. Because we know when y'all going to slip, slip y'all, slip y'all tongues. And uh, uh, and get proud, cause that pride ain't gonna deliver you nowhere. Uh, it's just gonna get you destroyed. So stay in order. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, and comforting to the elect of nation of the nation of Israel. I'm gonna end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Hashai, Hashem, Kadosh, Rakatei Yahweh, Rakatei Hashai, Rakatei Yahweh, Rakatei Hashai. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, teach well, lead Israel by great example this day. Peace and citation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth, his righteousness, purity, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala. And a Bible ball, death to America, Shalom Amakiyam. Stay strong in spirit and was out of here with the salvation of Howard Shai. Shalom. A Bible ball.